Hey everybody, so this is Sherry Bermundo and I'm the a Young Living Essential Oils Independent Distributor and I have been taking the time to go over the notes of things that I have listened to and learned from. This time um, I'm going to start with the Essential Oil Symposium that occurred this summer, 2017, a Global Online Essential Oil Symposium. Um, and these are, this is the beginning of my notes. The first one that I was able to hear um, is on spiritual oils. So I am going to read through that. Um, I, I did this at a time when um, I, actually most of it was during a time that I was unable to listen to everything they had to offer. So some of my notes are short, um, but I do have a lot of good notes that I wanted to share with you. So spiritual oils. The first one is abundance. And forgive me, but I forget who actually spoke on this one. I didn't actually write them down I, now that I'm looking at it. Mm, well, some of them I do have written down. Well, anyway, so today's on spiritual oils. I don't remember who... Um, spoke on this topic, but it does come from one of the classes or one of the training sessions that are in this um, DVD set, it's the Essential Oil Symposium, which you may still be able to get at biocodeacademy.com. Um, so anyway, spiritual oils, abundance. Um, use only when thinking positively. It brings abundance in whatever way you think. Um, uh, a suggestion is to place in four corners of a room monthly. I started doing that. Um, I would spray it in the four corners of my office here. And I don't know what happened. I think I just totally forgot. But anyway, abundance. You don't want to use it when you're down in the dumps and thinking, you know, negatively about things. Um, so you got to work on your thought process. Um and make sure you're thinking positively. Like it says, it brings abundance in whatever way you think. Because what we think about, we bring about. Um, the next one was is hope. It's hopeful for happiness that awaits you. It helps release emotions and dark thoughts. And a place to put the uh, hope oil is on the ears. Okay, Your ears actually have acu acupuncture or acupressure acupuncture points acupressure points I think they're about the same it's just that acupuncture is with little tiny needles and pressure is pressure so anyway put that on your ears that's one of your Vitaflex points um, for that emotion um, the third spiritual oil is motivation this one helps us conquer fear keeps us from procrastinating um, and the best place to put motivation oil is on your big toe. You know why? This is actually interesting. Because it sticks out for us to move forward. You know, our big toe, we, when we're walking, you know, it's, that's the reason. Because it sticks out. Helps us move forward. Motivation. Believe. I've actually been diffusing this oil at night when I go to bed um, the last few nights. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, anyway, believe. Think how much you believe in. Think how much you believe in. In all areas of your life. Five to seven drops in the diffuser at bedtime. Ha! Huh? Okay. I need to up the drops. <laughs> um, a side note, also it is great for skin care. So believe. Think how much you believe in. There's a lot of things that we believe in if you think about it. If you really think about it, you know, our belief system, what we were taught, and then also a belief system as we've gotten older and started, you know, like, um, deciding for ourselves what we believe. Uh, the next one, envision. Envision yourself as a bigger version of yourself. It helps awaken and renew your drive. Um, the best place for application is the tip of the nose to the hairline, okay? Um, 
Do you ever see that picture? It, it's a picture of a cat looking in the water. And this cat does not look like a cat to himself. He looks like this big tiger. So that's that's the... Um, uh, I can't think of the word. That That's what, you know... The example. <laughs> that's the example of how to envision envisioning yourself as a bigger version of yourself um, number six spiritual oil is magnify your purpose it helps to encourage you to rise above obstacles and overcome self-pity helps to increase creativity creativity and your why um, okay so instructions about these oils use the above in order for months one and two so the first two months, you would use abundance, hope, motivation, believe, and vision, and magnify your purpose. Okay? Use those oils first for one to two months. Then you would move on to transformation in month three. It helps to strengthen and support readiness to change your inner doctrines. Um doesn't I don't have notes as to where to apply so I would inhale diffuse um, but month three you're you'd be working on incorporating transformation into your life um, then in month four into the future this helps to leave the past behind and enjoy challenges placing it on your wrist your neck and your heart into the future. Um, next, live with passion also in month four helps regain zest for life, optimistic passion and attitude toward life. So you can apply it on your wrist, your temple, forehead, middle of your chest, two to four drops. Okay, so this is, this is something that um, if you are really looking to make a change in your life, okay? So that one was live with passion. So into the future and live with passion in month four. Then grounding is also in month four. It helps to cope with the reality in a positive way. Best place is the bottom of your feet, your ankles, and your knees. Grounding. Um, yeah, the reality is we live in, in so much negativity. We have to find a way to live in this negativity positively. So the next oil is common sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be funny, but there's a lot of people lacking some common sense out there. Um, month that's you use in month five gives you the ability to make and establish strong and rational decisions. Aromatic only is the note. Don't apply it. Diffuse it. Okay? In month five, diffuse it. Then in month six, we move on to highest potential. It enhances self-confidence. And you would diffuse it, inhale it, um... Apply to the third eye, to the tip of the nose, from here, the third eye, tip of the nose to the hairline, okay, and behind your ears for highest potential in month six. Then, also in month six, acceptance. Acceptance enables us to open up to new ideas and reach our highest potential, and it helps you against procrastination. You would inhale and diffuse. So you could open the bottle and just inhale it, put it on your hands, make a scent tent. So basically cupping your hands, just don't touch your eyes. Don't, you know, go here, it's here. Okay, and diffuse it. And then the next two, I don't know what happened. So I'll have to continue this another time. Our gratitude and surrender. Um, so I'm going to have to re-watch, or maybe you can do that. Well, 
I need to do that so I can get the rest of my notes, but you could also um, look for this. And I believe this is available, not the DVDs, but the all the training, this, the presentations are available online this weekend. I think it's at biocodeacademy.com. I saw it somewhere that it said this weekend only, the 9th and the 10th, you could watch it, you know, all of it for free. Um, so anyway, grab yourself a copy or get online this weekend, biocodeacademy.com. Um, and if neither of those work for you, I will be looking at that and coming back to finish up my notes on gratitude and surrender. So these spiritual oils, if you're looking for some serious change in your life, remember you start with abundance only when thinking positively, hope and motivation, believe, envision, magnify your purpose, transformation, into the future, live with passion, grounding, common sense, highest potential, acceptance, gratitude, and surrender. Those are our spiritual oils. None of them come in the premium starter kit, but if you are a member, you get them all at the wholesale price. You don't need to get them all at the same time because you can't use them all in the same month. So start with the few um, that you're using in the um, first and second month. So the first six is for the first and second month. Okay, so that's what you're going to be working on. I hope. <laughs> you know, um, I know I have quite a few of these and I need to get some more. Definitely. Because there's some changes that I want to make and I need to make and I will make. Um, so anyway, hope this was helpful to you. And um, apologize for my little lackadaisical self tonight. <laughs> I am, it was a long day, and I haven't been on here for a while, so I needed to make sure I got on with something, and that something is the beginning of the Essential Oil Symposium. So, the next time I'm on here is going to be, in re notes are, Evolve and Grow. And it looks like that's from Jen O'Sullivan. So, anyway, hope you have a good night. And uh, if you enjoyed this, if you learned something from it, if you want to learn more, just follow me. And um, thank you. Have a good night.